Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, hi. My name is Busari Molayo and I'm a registered nurse based in Nigeria. On this channel, I film about nursing and healthcare. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a not very common skin disorder that leaves people with two different skin colors. The condition is called vitiligo. If you are new here, please click on the subscribe button to join the YouTube family and also on the bell icon so you get a notification whenever I drop a new video. With that being said, let's get into the video for today. Vitiligo is a skin condition that is not very common. However, it may not be said to be very rare. And in vitiligo, the patient loses the skin pigmentation. Now, there is a cell called melanocytes that is present in every human skin that helps to give the color by producing what is called melanin. Now, in vitiligo, these melanocytes are either damaged or lose their ability to produce melanin. And then the patient comes down with white patches on their skin. Now, who exactly can vitiligo affect? Vitiligo can affect any race or anybody, just that vitiligo is more pronounced in black people because when you're placing black skin beside white patches, it tends to be more pronounced as compared to someone who is a bit fairer in complexion having vitiligo. However, this doesn't mean that vitiligo only affects black people, but it is more pronounced when it affects a black person. Now, what are the risk factors? of having vitiligo. Research has not really shown the exact cause of vitiligo, but vitiligo has been said to have a genetic implication. In other words, if someone or two or more people in someone's family had vitiligo, there is a chance that someone in that family is also going to have vitiligo later on. And then vitiligo has been closely associated with an autoimmune disorder, most times a thyroid disorder. So these two are the general or most common risk factors that are associated with vitiligo. Vitiligo can affect any part of the body, but it majorly affects areas that are more exposed to the sun, such as the hands, the feet, the face, and the neck. Now, vitiligo is not communicable. You can't have vitiligo by touching a patient or hugging a patient or coming in contact with a patient that has vitiligo. And vitiligo does not really bring any health hazard to the patient that is affecting. However, it can bring about some emotional disturbances because it affects areas that are exposed to the outside world so they may try to be covering it up it may bring about low self-esteem they may have to see therapists and all it's like what actually has no cure but then there are so many medical maneuvers that have been put in place just to help with LIGO patients regain if not exactly their previous skin states but near to the previous skin states such as using of phototherapy, depigmentation, repigmentation surgery and all other measures. So there you have it guys. That is that about vitiligo. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more interesting topics. Don't forget to turn on your notifications. Give this video a like and let me know in the comment section what you think about vitiligo. With that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!